This music is sweet, sweet man. Sweet anyhow. Oxlade category. Yeah. Um, Oxlade, stop, uh, I stop, spelling, stop spelling all your songs wrong. Wrongly, yeah. Because people are saying so the spelling be... No, no but I think that might be like his signature That's thing, his thing to spell yeah. things wrong. <laughs> I mean, you know, know the spelling. Differently. Let's okay, okay, differently. okay, okay. That's it's yeah. creative, baby. It's creativity. All right. Yes, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the entertainment <laughs> news. We start up with this one: Bonner Boy issues strong statement. Nigerian music star Bonner Boy is out issuing a statement that he has no interest in being classified among the big three in the Nigerian music industry. Just so you know, in the Nigerian music space, fans often refer to Wizkid, Davido, and Burna Boy as the biggest three music stars, aka the Big Three. Well, putting all the conversation of the Big Three to rest, Burna Boy had this to say in a now viral clip. This is, however, not the first time Burna Boy will be issuing strong, such strong, boastful statements. If you recall, ahead of the release of his seventh studio album, I told them, the singer in an interview with Apple Music, Zane Lowe, said 90% of Afrobeat songs is devoid of real life experiences and only portray an amazing time which life isn't all about. He also described Afrobeat as nothing, stating that the music genre lacks substance. Oh yeah, over hey, to you, you, outsider, sorry. aka. Why is that boastful? Why do you say with so much? Yeah, I, it's, 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 it's the bragging rights that Bonaboy has, and and all of this thing. We all remember the Coachella saga. I need my names in caps lock, okay. and that is amazing from him, by the way. That bragging rights, that boastful oh, statement. Um, if you not blow your trumpet, who will? Okay. Um, I think so. At this point in time, I think Bernard is just keeping in line with the theme of 2024. No grief for anybody. No grief for anybody. <laughs> Don't let them add you to anyone they are there. But, but if we want really reason within Bernard Boy talk, mm. the way he said it. He's saying it like. No, no, no. The way he said it is beneath them. No. Because he said they are big too. And there is Bonner Boy. So no, after those so, big two, no, so that's, there is Bonner Boy. So that's Boy. how you're comprehending it. Okay. What I think that... Oh, say outsider. <laughs> Let's what say I think Bonner meant is he's in a lane of his own. You after can the say big whoever... Two. So now there's no hierarchy of anything. No, he's he said, just he, saying... He said, he said, he said there's... Nobody should categorize me a little bit big three. I know there is only big two and yes. then there's Bonner Boy. Okay, so there are two packs of plantain chips. And there's one pack of yam chips. Why they use plantain chips? No, Why I they... just want epic. Hunger, go they catch me now. You, you never chop your bola this morning. No. Ah, me, I don't start my new year for the <laughs> But anyways, I think he's just saying like there are two packs of plantain chips and one pack of yam. Okay. So he's not saying the yam is inferior to the plantain chips. We all just exist. Just that yam, they in lane. Yeah. You understand? So you know that Bonner Boy is Hayam, that's... I... <laughs> Sorry. Are you normal? <laughs> Um, but me, I love it, Sha, because I mean, it's, it's no surprise he's saying this. To be, in fact, I think it's even too late that he's saying it. I've been expecting it since because I know that Bernard never wants to be in that space where he's being like compared with somebody else or being put in like a box. So he's just telling you that you cannot box me. You might be saying big, big, big. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, make it go sit down. Like, so you, we all know one of the fights that the so called fight that Bernard Boy and Davido has mm -hmm. has to be a fallout from. One picture that Davido posted that somebody mm -hmm. did like an image of Whiskey and Davido yeah. wearing Diabolical. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Said, Big two. <laughs> so, you know, there was drama with Burner Boy and Davido after that picture surfaced. And one way or the other, all of these mm -hmm. so called Big Three, one way, one way or the other, they've been bragging different. Because yes, no. Davido has yes, said it no. that he's the, I'm the biggest. They've not double one. Uh -huh. um, Whiskey calls himself the Apopsy. So, uh -huh. therefore. So let me not leave Bonner Boy, make it talk to I'm, I'm surprised that But the way it still sounded, it sounded like... I'm surprised like, that you're in support of Bonner. Is it because of the hair? I see, no, no, I, no, I see I just, you're becoming an outsider. Hell no. no? I belong to nobody. I belong to <laughs> everybody. I just, I just like the fact yes. that you have to blow your trumpet. Yes, definitely. And with the accolades he has achieved all through these years, I'm on a bragging right to, if you vex... Jonathan. Put yourself for... But a big seven. Let's, let's come back again. So Loki, we have big three now. He said there's no big three. Me, I'm not the L. Okay, so my there's, there's, president so, has so, spoken. So he said there's big two. Then there's Who Bonner. Who big two? I don't know. Did he call anybody's name? I cannot categorically tell you whether or whether or not. It's okay, in nice the... one, Davido. I know you're on break, but I want you to just put, do one Resume. of those Instagram videos that you do that will be like a clap back. Maybe you just Why? record a video and do. 
<laughs> you don't talk rubbish. Um, then whiskey do not go no. on Snapchat. You know whiskey doesn't. If he wants to, oh, yeah, Snapchat, if he wants to drag, he will do fella back on Snapchat. He will just put una pop sixty day year. Dear whiskey and David, just do that so that we go get juice. So you used to start the year. Though. Yeah, I like this. I love All right. this. As um, OJ Kuku <laughs> wants to start the year of violence, Before. Yule Doche slams his wife, May Adoche. <sighs> Barely a few days into the new year, and the drama lingers as Yule Doche has called out his estranged wife, May Adoche, for saying 2023 was her worst year. Just so you know, you have put up an Instagram post saying that 2023 was his best year ever. That post, however, sparked various reactions with many calling the actor out for stating that a year when he lost his son was the best. May Adoche, on the other hand, then posted that 2023 was her worst year following the death of her son. And this prompted various Instagram users to console her and we guess this didn't go well with you. In an Instagram post, Yula Doche has now shared a cryptic message which seems to be pointing in the direction of May. In the post, he accused someone of undergoing breast enlargement surgery and a tummy talk in 2023 without her husband's consent. He also accused the person of even having a married boyfriend. Ha. You wrote, and I quote, 2023 stole your flesh and blood, but you still had enough time to do breast enlargement surgery and tummy talk without your husband's consent. Obviously endorsed by your married boyfriend. Ah. Enough of the manipulation. Stop manipulating people on social media to hate me and feel pity for you while you enjoy your life secretly because they don't know the real you, he added. I will not take it in 2024. I've been silent for too long. I've been doing my best to protect your image while you're doing all you can to destroy mine. Enough, end quote. In another post, you maintain that the person did not tell him she was going for the surgery. According to him, he was out of town when the person called him to say she wasn't feeling well. He also stated that he sympathized with her but found out what she had done much later. He asked who signed the content form for the surgery. He also stated that if something had happened to her, people would have accused him of killing her. So, is he referring to me? Have we seen May recently, is the question. Yeah. Because there's only one way that we can know. <laughs> yeah, because she put up a post. And is I she think, looking? Yeah, she just even got an, an endorsement also. So she's bragging different. And it's just, it's, this case is just looking like a clash of posts. Somebody's posting, hmm. 2023 was my best. And people accused him. How will you say, 2023, you got divorced or so-called separated from your yep. wife. You lost the child, blah, blah, blah. And you're saying it's your best. Then May, on the other hand, Put up a post that this is our worst year, and he be like, say, you just vex, like, how will you stay? It's your worst year. You went go, he did not call name, shall. Just say, you went go do plastic <laughs> this thing, and, uh, and he has been going on and on, on and on on social media that has even sparked another reaction. People are saying, oh, my, you little child, this is not your handwriting. This is Judy, his other wife, that she's the one writing all of these things because. Mm -hmm. Look, I don't think you you supposed to do this kind of thing. Okay, so for me, I still maintain the fact that everything I know about these people is against, it's against my your will. will. <laughs> uh, I don't wake up and choose to know what's going on in the Edoche <sighs> yeah. family and extended family. If, if, even so, someone from the family has said you should stop tagging yeah, her mm, in all of these posts because they, it they, be, it they don't want to have anything to do. Even Rita Edoche um, use Auntie too. That one is the support of May. She has been giving you back. Saying Judy, go and drop his phone. You had one using used phone to be putting up all of these updates, which doesn't make sense. You're just bitter. Okay, so my own thing in all of this is simply that number one, I think everybody should face the thing that is facing them. You, first of all, saying that 2023, when he lost his son, separated from his wife, was his best year. I don't even know what that means. He should have just focused on that. Now, he's saying that somebody, let's assume okay. that is me that did the surgery, if she wanted to do the surgery, she can do what she wants to do, to be very honest, at this point in time. But it's claiming that you did not tell, when I called you that you had something, something, you it's didn't tell me, fine. you didn't tell me is this thing that you went to do. Okay, if so you had died, you know, the backlash now be okay, back so to Okay, so why him. is he doing things in his life that will make backlash come back to him if she dies? Like, why are you, so it's not on her. She wants to do what she wants to do. And why you not tell him? You're not why? accused of having a married boyfriend. Okay, you two, when you had babe, when she were married, did you tell her? So, Ojoro Kansu, dear. Two gay four. He does. It's just too early. It's too, I'm already to stressed. To be in the you I'm already and stressed. May. And I think whatever May is doing, they actually pin 
you yeah. or Aunt Judy. But she hardly does say anything, to be honest. And then they're always... Well, me, I don't know how they're doing their thing, Sha. I it. wish they don't change just the face. Yeah. In 2024, they just not disturb us. Yeah. Thanks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with the entertainment news. We've got Social View coming right up after this break, so don't go anywhere. All right, people, welcome back to the show. It is time to see what is happening on Social View, which means we will be sharing all the amusing and outrageous moments taking place in the world of social media. And we are kicking off with this one. Uh, if you've been following all the fake products things happening oh, in the country, you'll be very familiar with this one. And they said, it's a family affair. So I'm sure we all know this, this wine, right? So now there's nice cousins. There's the brothers. There's big brothers. There's rich cousins. I actually don't want to believe all these things. Okay, so I believe it. And I'll tell you that I believe it because, you know, there was the one for the dark soy sauce, the Amoy. Yeah, I, apparently, the, I think everybody has fake. No, everybody has fake. It was so bad. I had zil, zip look Amoy Q. When I don't read them before, I buy them. Okay, so no. You know how? Now okay. in the markets. And it's all those big stores that sell these things. So my thing is, like, you don't think to look at it. It's like when you buy noodles, you have to really check whether it's the proper thing. Once you just eat green pack, you just carry yeah. the thing back, throw it inside your bag. It's Do you awkward. know what you have eaten? It's awkward, man. So now, instead of... Drinking your you know, casual four cousins. You can go and buy nice cousins. What? If you're money nourish, you can buy. The and, it's, and it's crazy how they'll still be the same price. With the or around the same price yeah. with the original thing. So now, rich cousins. I'm seeing price on top. One, two. Why don't you spend one, two on fake something? And, and everybody, I, I, I saw the reactions on social media. Everybody just carry them as crews. You're not supposed to be crews. I posted because a video it, it reached, six different wrong Because things. it reached through. Okay, I got it from this store. Mama, I'm suing you for selling rubbish. The store yeah. doesn't even know is the problem. Because even the store I bought from, I went back to the store. Oh, you did? I went back to the store and I was asking the guy that, have you seen what's going on online? He said, no. I said, this thing that is in your shelf, have you looked at it? He said, what's wrong with it? <laughs> even he didn't even know. So I'm like... Ah, God help us. So I think it's even from where it's coming that's the actual problem. Not even the people that are even buying it. But please, dear, 2024, let's be focused too. Read label, read things. And that's how you know people don't even check your expiry date on stuff. Yeah. You just pick something up and you just... And again, it's a new year, so please, your expiry date on items, go and check. You should always check it. Or you go and be spraying yourself with waiting with all... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so <clears throat> still in line with the fake products. They said Vaseline is male. Vesalina is female. Is that what is there? This person wants to buy Vesalina. Yeah. And there's no way you will know. You will not know. Same package, same color, same everything. Now, so, uh, AK, floor manager. What's happening? So, you know these popular brands that, 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 that does earphones that they say are yeah, unlucky yeah, yeah. with their cord? Yeah. Apparently, there's another one that had a terrible name, and somebody brought the earpiece to the studio. With the logo, the color, and everything. But when you look, look deeper, you know, the spelling is totally wrong. Okay, um, so I remember that <laughs> I was passing markets one day. I saw Daddy Daz. That thing. Daddy Daz. Okay, so this 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 way I have a problem. With why didn't they, and the shoe be mad though? Why not just write just why not just put the right put anything? Just give us nice shoe. Yeah. yeah. Oh Daddy you, Daz. You would have just bow. <sighs> Ah. You would have just printed the right thing so that it would just go. Or just put a different name. OJ, As your product. OJ Vaseline. <laughs> OJ ointment. OJ cream. Ah. So if you're using Vaseline and your mouth go and swell. <laughs> now you go do yourself. Not here, oh. Okay. All right. So Min King making an appearance today and he said, God, I beg. Give me person way I deserve. Make I just rest. I don't tire for talking stage. Which one be? What will you do if you see me in your room now? You be spirits. <laughs> no. It look like something you can ask. My agenda. If you see me in your room now, what will you do? I will tell you to start sweeping because you will not stress me. No. Get for no, the first question. The first question is not. The first question is, what are you putting on? Okay, I really don't like that question. Yeah, it, it, they give. It, they give. No, what if you are in a serious relationship with the person? Is that better? Why, why is what I'm wearing of concern to you? Ah. Uh, be this one. What are you putting on? What's your business? Did you? Is a different thing if you bought me clothes and you said, "Oh, you're wearing." Okay, I bought you a sexy lingerie, 
And I'm asking. You will never buy private jets. You uh, go calm down. I'll go buy Victoria's Secret now. Uh-uh. Okay, uh, no. OGL, it go reduce my private jets money. Focus, focus. Private jets, private jets. Yeah. Okay, let's yeah. just be going because at this point <laughs> in time, I don't want to insert you. Okay, and the schooler here and he's saying, you woke up and it's 2024. What will 2040. you... 2040. 2040. Wow, that's it. Yeah, that's a that's long time. a long time. time. What will you Google first? Me, the Arsenal <laughs> win a Champions League. Who I said 2040, not 3040. The elephant has fallen from the tree. Dear Arsenal football club what fans. What happens? I told you people were bragging that you win the league. In the space of two weeks, people who left the first spot and are now number four. When we told you people at the beginning of the season that, now initial ground ground and they do, we win the league. We are back. We are back. Look at you people doing zero level. 24, see what Kule is asking. Even 30, 40, you people cannot even win. We're not even talking Champions League first. We're talking Premier League. You people are random. No level. Arsenal Football Club. Arsenal Football Club. Do you want to talk? Because the elephant has fallen from the tree. I'm done. And let's move on to the next one. We don't have time. Okay, but I feel like staying here. Because Arsenal cannot win the Premier League. Mm. And they cannot win the Champions League. They are just there as number. And you see even real said. Arsenal fans know. You see this thing I've said, I'll remind you. Yeah. You, I'll remind you, don't That's we? how you people reminded us that this, this season, we are winning everything. Look at them now. I will remind you. Fourth uh -uh. place club. They are going, they, are go, we'll they, are going back, they are going back to where they actually belong. It's okay. Rubbish. Anyway, I don't know why your picture is on social view, Shabu. Let's see. <laughs> That's what you're looking like right now, darling. Is that when you rush to an event to sit in front, but they start sharing the food from the back? Eh? Ah. Uh, we're not going to grill. Ah, ah. No. No grill for anybody. No. Hold the water by the trousers. They are walking past. Are you That's why you come up with motivational statement that, ah, ah, we are in the front. Is it not the head first before the tail? No, but yeah, sometimes so... these people, like, they, they vex person. I remember the last wedding that I went for, the ice cream. I could see the tray passing from far like this. Meanwhile, Nami Denye, Entrance. Ah, that's wickedness. They go just zoom before you even look back. They don't. That's wickedness. So at this point in time, like this, eh? I know they, I know they, I know they grief for anybody. <laughs> yeah. Now I will hold the waiter by the trousers. Yes, bros. <laughs> Sort me. Table. Sort me. Oduam. Best. Yes. All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right, people. There you have it from the world of social media on Socialville. We're gonna go on a break. And we'll be right back, okay? That's one of my new resolutions. Some um, things down to learn. <laughs> to, to work? You yeah. can't? Okay, stop, stop, stop. It's not that they do it. Do it, let me see. How? As as, as, as how? It's okay, it's okay. Stop, stop, stop. What? You don't turn out to put your dance now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the part of the show where we get to check out the very best of Nigerian songs in the list of 10 to 1 right here on this week's East e Splash Top, Top 10, 10 Countdown. Countdown. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, we did a recap of the countdown. Yes, we did. So we are back to reality now. At number 10, we have Vic Tony right here featuring Baby Boy AV. And this one is titled Jaga Jaga. Let's go. I, I don't think this is a prayer that people want to pray to start no. this new year. That, that is not even the first song we will now play on countdown. Now the countdown. Mm. We reject it. Amen. Your life will not jaga jaga. Your life not wuru wuru. Amen. But Amen. yeah, that was Victoria featuring Baby Boy <laughs> AV with Jaga Jaga at number 10. We are moving on to the number nine spot. This song was actually number three. The last time that you saw it on the countdown is oh. currently number nine now. So it's dropped six spots. Wow, <laughs> 10 million views on YouTube though, Ten? in two months, which is absolutely phenomenal. And number nine, we've got Crayon and Ira Star, and this one is titled Ngazi. Let's do I like that she said Jollof. I just remembered I had Sierra Leone Jollof. <laughs> Why are you talking I, food? You're making me Sierra Leone Jollof. So, do you want to do Sierra Leone Nigeria Jollof war? No, it's just I just had Sierra Leone Jollof, which is and, better. No, Nigerian Jollof is forever bay. Okay. But Australian Jollof wasn't bad because I think they put maybe cinnamon or something. I don't know what it was, but it was a thing, Shai. So, yeah, but I put cinnamon inside. No, don't put 
Okay, yeah. You just checked out number nine song, Crayon, and Ira Star with Ungozi. And number eight song is credited to this guy that pressed the neck of everybody throughout last year. And of course, this year, we know it's going to be amazing for him. Yep. Odumodu Black, Bloody Civilian, and Wale. This one right here is titled Blood on the Dance Floor. Let's go. All right, that was Odumodu Black, Bloody Civilian, and Wale with Blood on the Dance Floor at number eight. We are moving on to the number seven spots, and this one is a brand new entry. Eh, eh, eh. Who get the mind? With huh? Who get the mind to do to get the, brand new on, on New Year Day? It's only one person that I can be now. Oh. Who else? Who else? If not Rema. Boy. Rema. <laughs> Calm down, please, dear. So we've got Rema at number seven. This job 13 days ago and it already has 1.2 million views. Rema still. Yeah. DND at number seven. Let's check it out. <laughs> yes, Rema right there with DND. Do not disturb. I would have touched on this um, conversation, but because of time. We're not What's uh, Justin Sky wore with him to the church? <laughs> that's that's your kind of thing. Now. That's now I go to my father's house. Okay, so she did wrong. No, she wore what she like now. It's all okay. right, all right. Come as you are. That's what the Bible said. As you are. Uh, that you supposed not wear. You supposed not wear anything. As she. Was. Okay, yeah. Number six on the countdown this week, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, is credited to Thames, and of course, this particular song was on the former president's uh, playlist for the for year, year. twenty three, yep. which is amazing for a Nigerian artist. Thames, right here, me. And you. Me and ah, it's me and you this year. No grief, right? <laughs> no <laughs> grief. Ah, ah. Um, if we take, if, ah. we, if we carry that theme, they I enter say. this year, we're going to break people. We're going to, but no, we're not going to do that. Because I get person I don't want to break. No, 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 no. Okay, we're not starting the year like okay, that. Yeah. Thanks, dear. Thanks, one. Thanks. And number terms? I said number terms. <laughs> number six. I just not break my own head on this show. <laughs> number six, we have terms, me and you. We are moving on to the number five spot. This song was number two last week. Uh -huh. It is currently number five. Mini has dropped three spots, but it currently has 39 million views in three months on YouTube. Uh -huh. Can only be one person you already know. It's Bonnie Boy. The number three, Abby. In the, so I want to press people next this year. Huh? You will not press anybody next this year. All right. Yes, just check out number yes. five song, Burner Boys, City Boys. Number four is an amazing collaboration. We have producer Sass right here, preaching Ashake, an American artist, Ghana. And this one is titled Happiness. All right, we had Sass right there featuring Ashake and Ghana with Happiness at number four. We are moving on to the number three song, and this song was number one for quite some time. Mm -hmm. That is the song we ended 2023 with. Mm -hmm. At number one, so it's at number three today, meaning it's dropped two spots, meaning we have a brand new number one. Yes, yes, yes. Eh, 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 eh. Yes, Kiss Daniel with my G. You show 1,005 wristwatch. You never throw him for 2023. Thunder fire you. <laughs> yes, number three, just checked out his daughter right there with my G. Number two is an amazing song, an amazing collaboration. And Bonner Boy makes another appearance. Of course. Bonner Boy, after the two, he, Naim Dede. Yeah. Boy, it's at number two. No, after the, the two. The two is now. Naim Dede. He said, he's like he said this. there's Bonner Boy. He's there's not like this. Two. He's like this. Okay, yeah. Number two, Bonner Boy, featuring Shayi Vibes, and this one is titled Giza. A jam. Stealing. Let's go. <laughs> no, you wanted me to say that. You want me to talk about it? For not just talk anything. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Please, dear. <yeah. laughs> Let's keep the countdown going. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take the recap because mm. apparently we're having so much fun. We lost track of time. <laughs> oh, the show is one hour. But oh, yeah. yes, yeah. yes, yes, please. <laughs> But of course, we told you that we have a brand new number one today. And the song was actually number nine last week. So this is a major jump. Last two weeks. Number, last, well, last, last two, two weeks, weeks yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. So this is a major jump to our number one song. But no surprises that 001 Davido is here at number oh, one. Okay. Featuring the caveman and Angeliki Joe. And this one right here is titled Namoni. <laughs> yes, 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 ladies and gentlemen, our time is done and dusted. Be appreciative <laughs> yourself. My name is OJ. Dala was also in the building. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>